Priyanka Chopra Jonas. It is a pleasure to finally be speaking with you and Britasia TV are delighted to have you on to talk about your latest film, Matrix. Um, so in the short time we have, my first yep. question for you is, if I was to tell 20 year old Priyanka Chopra that she'll one day be cast in a film alongside Keanu Reeves, what would she say? I think you're crazy because I used to have such a crush on Keanu Reeves and, you know, all the speed movies, not The Matrix, of course, but like the romantic comedies of Keanu Reeves. I remember I would have, first of all, I didn't even as a 20 year old expect the career I've had. Um, but to be a part of The Matrix legacy, I think that's really, really cool to me um, to be given the responsibility of the character that I'm playing who was so intentional and so important and placed very specifically in the previous movies um, and I know is very special to Lana to be able to give to be given that responsibility was very cool it's it's not like I was just playing any character I played this very iconic specific character um, so I feel very honored to be a part of this movie. Now what was your earliest memory of The Matrix when it released in the late 90s? You know, I really remember thinking about how amazing the the tricks were in the movie and how it, it felt so magical. And I really think it shifted pop culture at that time. I don't know if you'll remember, but um, I, I just remember, you know, black being very prevalent, everybody trying to be in leather and cool, but also at the same time having like deeply um, affected questions and having you know, talking about consciousness and choice and, and reality and what really is real. So I think as, as a young person at that time, it was very moving to me, the movie. Now Priyanka, in September, you shared uh, the film's first trailer um, and you captioned the post, they had me at Neo and Trinity are back. <laughs> How did it really go down when they pitched the fourth installment to you? And when did you find out you were actually cast in the film? So it wasn't as cool as that <laughs> um I had auditioned for the movie and I was in Mumbai I remember and I got a call saying Lana wants to meet you tomorrow and I was like in San Francisco um got onto a flight that night flew to San Francisco went from the airport to meet her because I really wanted to be a part of the movie and um I walked into her office I remember and she was talking to me about the role and the and the part and and what I think about the movies and after our conversation was over, she brought out, um, she asked her assistant to bring out a freshly printed script. And that was her way of welcoming me into the matrix. And it was one of the coolest memories I have. I've never had a director give me a freshly printed script and say, welcome to the matrix. I mean, come on. <laughs> Amazing. Now, Priyanka, not only do we share the same name, but we're also daddy's little girl. What would oh. your father be saying to you today, having known that you've joined this legacy franchise? I think my dad was my biggest champion. He, he was excited whether I won a participation award in school <laughs> or a participation certificate. My dad would get excited about everything. So I really do think he's watching and I think he's making a lot of, um, my life happened. Um, I'm very grateful to have, you know, it's, it's been a lot of hard work. It's been many, many years of pounding the pavement and to be able to do the work that I have been seeking is, is really great. So I think he would have been proud. God bless. Okay. Frank, a final question. Uh, recent superhero films have infused cultural authenticity with its uh, native language soundtrack. Do you think that we're going to see more East meets West in Hollywood films, whether that's Bollywood or even Bhangra? Listen, that's the quest. So I'll tell you yeah. something, Priyanka. It's not it's not something that will happen easily. It's, you know, it requires a lot to educate um, Hollywood, which looks a very certain way, which has not really given people like you and me a seat at the table. There are very few of us whether that's in front of the camera or behind the camera that get an opportunity. So yes, it's going to take people like you and me to shift that, to push that envelope and to demand that we get seen and, um, you know, to create um, content for, for more people like us. And, and that's definitely my quest, not just as an actor, but as a producer, I'm doing some really, really cool um, Indian content uh, in Hollywood. And I'm very excited to be, you know, pushing that envelope, not just for myself, but for, 
you know, talent that comes from South Asia. Definitely. We've got to keep blazing that trail, Priyanka. Have to <laughs> until do it. Then, until then, good luck with the global premiere for The Matrix Resurrections. It's been an absolute privilege speaking with you today. Thank you so much. You take care and happy holidays. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.